So before I begin the video, a couple people were wondering where the kazoo went. Um, because the room I'm staying at for vacation is very echoey. I didn't want it to carry out and cause a noise complaint because it is a loud little piece of plastic. So it's just going to be some of the music that I had on hand from before. With that said, let's continue with fun facts with Discord. When humans domesticated wolves, we basically bred Williams syndrome into dogs, which is characterized by cognitive difficulties and a tendency to love everyone. We basically made dogs stupid goofballs. The French animated 3D show Code Lyoko was originally called Garage Kids. It would have been darker than what Code Lyoko was. The kids would have had their own powers outside of the computer world. And I think you could also have seen clips of what Garage Kids was in the opening. I think. Maybe. Don't. Don't count me on that one. Along with Fat and Eat It, Weird Al Yankovic recorded another song called Snack All Night, a parody of Michael Jackson's Black or White. Michael, however, urged Al not to release the song due to the message of Black and White. Today, the only footage of the parody that still exists of it is Al performing it during a 1992 concert. See, that's actually really nice that Al listened to Michael's words and decided to not publish that parody, technically. In the original ending of the Disney movie Lilo and Stitch, watch it, it's really good, Stitch was going to hijack a 747 airplane and crash it through the city of Honolulu while trying to rescue Lilo. After 9-11, the scene had to be changed to Jumba's big spaceship and crash through the mountains. You can still find the clip online. I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of disturbing. If your skin is subjected to ridiculously cold temperatures for a long time, it might cause ice burns, which, while non-threatening, can cause numbness, itchiness, blisters, and a feeling of waxy skin, among other symptoms. Usually, it's why you don't have an ice pack on an injury for a prolonged period. So remember the phrase, ice now, heat later. Or Shaquille O'Neal would say, Get yourself ice high water cake. Okay. He's a uh, pain's go. Shaquille O'Neal, 2019. Besides characters like Santo and the Blue Demon, another beloved member of the classic era of Lucha Libre was Miss Virginia Aguilera, the granny of wrestling. She was not a fighter, obviously, but an old lady that bought first row tickets for every single match happening in Mexico City. She never missed a single match from the day she started her hobby at 34 years old to her passing at the age of 97. In 1984, the CMML officially honored her for 50 years of unbroken attendance. She saw in the first row the complete career of El Santo, Lucha Libre's ultimate idol. From even before he donned his iconic mask to his very last match before retirement, before the match started, Santo took a moment to say goodbye to his old friend that had accompanied him throughout his entire journey. And the extra fun fact, the man on the suit is son of Santo, making his very first public appearance before he took the mantle his father left behind. This is a very touching photo, I love it. Penguins do in fact have knees. Their short legs mean that they hide under all the fat and feathers. You can see them in an x-ray though, that's disturbing. Put it back. Japan had a seat of negotiations for the Treaty of Versailles, but Germany didn't. Oh, that explains so much. And finalists. The average human can hear pitches which range from 20 to 20,000 hertz. But this is not stopped to certain people from making sounds outside this register. Pianos and bass guitars have been specially manufactured to deliver notes as low as B1. That is not a typo, that does mean B in the negative first octave. Where C4 is approximately the middle of the piano and is a commonly played note. For reference, A4 is 440 hertz, but it hasn't always been so. Conversely, few synthesizers are able to produce notes above 20,000 hertz. In both cases, you will often need to make or find ways to play outside this register since most instruments will not do this. So if you're ever messing around with GarageBand and you wonder why your guitar sounds extremely funky when trying to play a really high note, that's why. 